Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's the nature of the beast. I mean, I've sat there and picked and scrubbed and scrubbed and still have little hairs. You're always going to have them. Is that just room temperature water? Doesn't matter. Well, this is, it's cold, but uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Because there's really no, I'm not going to keep them, throw them in the gut bag if you don't want them. And there we got carcass on a rabbit there. I mean, you, we, uh, it is, it is amazing to me to see how much meat is on on yeah. a rabbit. Yeah, they're they're perfect as far as I'm concerned. I mean, not, no, I, no fat content really. Yeah, there's is. not much fat. Con I mean, granted, if you're making sausage out of it, you're gonna need a little pork fat or something like that right. to help it out. But if you're just you know if you're just looking for a pure protein source, you're not gonna beat a rabbit. I mean, they've got excellent feed conversion. I mean, granted, not all rabbits are equal. You're gonna find good rabbits and you're gonna find not so good rabbits. But if you get good rabbits, you're going to definitely be able to meet your family's protein needs just on rabbit. I usually have a little bit heavier knife to separate that out. I am just use it for what we're doing here. I'm just leaving it intact. So that would normally be two pieces. I find the well, for me, that would probably be one piece. Well, you know, I guess it all depends on your consumption. And then I just cut behind the last rib here on the loin and excuse my messy cuts I'm not a definitely not a professional butcher now is that like most meats where the loins probably the best part there that's my favorite granted if you really want to know what the best flavor is right there the belly granted there's not a lot there if you fry it, it's gonna to be tough as a rawhide but that's got the most flavor right there mm. as far in my opinion like bacon that's uh that's what a lot of people grind those up for their sausages and for right. that kind of meat um but it just kind of you know but as far as tender and everything as far as the best cut it is going to be the loin you see that's still a pretty good chunk of meat there yeah and then your hot wings this part it's not connected it's just tissue there there's no joint And that, you can probably scrub up a little bit more and get some of that coagulated blood off. And if you have running water, it helps a lot. To, uh, mix in a little bit of vinegar would probably take yeah, care of that. Yeah, that does too. And um, But uh, I find a lot of times just getting in there with, you know, with your, with your hands and in running water where it actually has some motion going over it makes a big difference. far from a professional butcher here and plus I don't have my butcher shop equipment here either so I got a little bit fancier setup at my house and these are the five pieces if you're gonna fry up that's what you're gonna do one two three four five this this is your soup meat that kind of stuff if you're gonna like if you're gonna make rabbit noodle soup that's what you'd throw in there very cool so um, although I would suggest pre-cooking it and boning it out for me, I just throw the whole thing in the crock pot. I don't even bother cutting it up most of the time. I just throw a hole in the bag, call it good, but throw it in the freezer. Um, we, a lot of times we'll pressure cook it up or crock pot it in advance, and then I'll throw it, bone it out, put it in the jars, and can it. And yet another Ziploc bag. So, 